<laughs> so now, like the young lady said, I've been lucky enough to be cast in an NBC TV show called 30 Rock. Clap your hands if you are. Um, I would tell you, um, being on 30 Rock is, a, is very exciting for me. As a matter of fact, a lot of the cast from 30 Rock perform here at the Upright Citizens Brigade. And I hear them talking about it all the time. So I was like, you know what, I gotta stop through there one time. But for me, it's very exciting being on, on 30 Rock because I'm a regular guy. You know, I was born and raised in the projects in the Bronx, you know? And I know nobody from my neighborhood's ever been on TV before. I mean, a couple of guys was on Cops, but <laughs> that's something else. You don't put that on your resume. But for me, it's an adventure being on this show because I work with these big stars. You know, I work with Tina Fey and, and Tracy Morgan and Alec Baldwin. But I'll be honest, and don't tell them I said this because they come through here. <laughs> it's a blessing and a curse for me, okay? It's a blessing because I get to work with the big stars. But it's a curse because I still live in the hood. <laughs> and the crackheads in my neighborhood have targeted me now. <laughs> they have. They try to rob me every chance they get. They do, but they don't come to me and just take money out of my pocket. I'm too big for that. Apparently, even if you're under the influence of crack, you know, if someone's too big to try to rob like that, but they break into my car like once a week. Once a week, they bust my windows out, go rummaging through my car. They even stole my car a couple weeks ago. Now, I don't know if any of y'all ever had your car stolen but you feel so violated. Because you, know? you know you parked your car right there, and you come out and it's gone. But I was lucky, I was one of the lucky ones. I got my car back, I got my car back. But the only reason I got my car back is because I still use the ghetto low jack. Y'all know what that is, the ghetto low jack? <laughs> ghetto low jack is when you don't leave no gas in your car. <laughs> you use the ghetto low jack, you will find your car. The day my car was stolen, I put $8 worth of gas in the car. And that was a time when the gas was like four dollars a gallon. So that's that's not even two gallons of gas. That was like 1.8 gallons of gas. Now that's just enough gas to get where you're going and barely make it home. <laughs> and that's what I did. I went where I was going and I barely made it home. And I parked my car right there. No big deal. Went upstairs, minding my business. Came outside the next day and they stole my car. Oh my god! They stole my car! Let me walk around <laughs> and locate my car. Because <laughs> the crackhead didn't know I used the ghetto low jack. The crackhead didn't know when you steal my car, you got to drive straight to the gas station. If you make a turn either way, you in trouble. <laughs> they stole my car on 181st Street in the Bronx. I found it on 189th Street in the Bronx. <laughs> Eight blocks away. Now, as soon as I found my car, the first thing I did was I called the cops, right? But not to press charges. I didn't need to press charges. I called the cops just in case they had hit somebody, or maybe got into a car accident. I wanted there to be an official police record that the car wasn't in my possession at the time. You know, you gotta be smart about those things. So the cops finally come, and we're on the side, and we're filling out the police report, right? And out the corner of my eye, way down the block, I see a guy coming our way, and he's carrying a big old can of gas, right? <laughs> he carried a big old can of gas to my car! <laughs> so, one of the cops, he turns to his partner. He says, hey, I think I see the guy that stole the car. He's coming this way. He's carrying a big old can of gas. Let's get him. I said, no, officers, no, don't get him. Let him put the gas in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, y'all have been a lot of fun. My name's Uptown Brown. I am honored to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.